Alrighty, well today is Friday and we are here at the shop. It is a rainy, gloomy day. Um, and I planned to go shopping, but it just didn't happen. I just wasn't feeling it. So I decided to take a trip over to the shop and get a head start on my eBay listings for next week. Uh, by the time you're seeing this video, these listings will probably already be live. Um, and if you're watching this a week from now, they will have already ended. Um, but we've got to pick some stuff for eBay. Um, and then on March 26th, we are having our whatnot sale. So we're going to have to start picking items for that if we have not already so we're gonna head into the shop we're gonna start picking stuff I also have to empty my car I went shopping yesterday and Shelby's going to be in to process and I have nothing for her so this this is all for her and I have, I have to get it in um, so that's kind of our plan for today we're just gonna piddle putts we're gonna just move around the shop so let's head in here we go Well, Shelby made very quick work of the boxes I brought in the other day. <laughs> She's like, do you have anything for me? I'm like, I just bought stuff in yesterday. She's like, yeah, I'm done with that. I'm like, oh, okay. So um, all of this has been processed, but I'm not sure when you guys are going to see this video. So I don't know if we can necessarily pick anything off of this table yet. This may be next week. Um, I want to look over here on these shelves. I picked a few things from here last week. And I think the conclusion was that most of the items on these shelves will end up being buy it now. So maybe today I'll also snap some buy it now photos and try to work at getting these shelves cleared off. This could probably be auctioned though. That wasn't working, but um, I don't know. Some people are really gifted and getting music boxes working. Occasionally, I will pop them open and try to get the mechanism jump started, but that's, that is the extent of my ability um, with music boxes. I just thought it was a fun, a fun mirrored lid, so that's why I bought that. So um, that was a while ago too. We have the spiders. I'm inclined to hold on to those until Halloween just because they're kind of Halloween themed. The vintage ornaments, I bought those for myself. I'll tell you what, we really didn't do much decorating for Christmas this year. And even Ashton said, Mom, it didn't feel like Christmas. And I kind of broke my heart a little bit. So next year, we're going to have to st step up our game just a little. Um, let's see. There's some nativity stuff over there. There's a Kaiser vase. We can include that as an auction item. And tiles and <laughs> for Christmas stuff. There's just a lot of Christmas stuff. I just need to buckle down, start buy it now is from out here, and also packing up my Christmas stuff until Christmas. Because that's when I like to list it. Even though it sells all year round. Every time I say I list it near Christmas, everyone tells me it sells all year round. So I feel like I have to put that disclaimer out there. I know it sells all year round. I just choose to list it around Christmas time. All right. Um, I'm looking for a basket to carry this stuff back, but I'm not going to find it. So we're just going to carry it back. I think this is going to be the cart that we use for these listings. Um, this mola is listed. So I'm going to go put that in the listed area. I've been trying to be better about putting the buy it nows on the listed shelves. Ooh, ah, will you look at that. Ooh, that's stunning. So I'll tell you where this came from. Um, on our last whatnot sale, we rated, at the end of the sale, we rated a seller by the name of Eclectiques. And um, prior to rating their sale, I went through their buy it nows and came across this. And I thought, oh my gosh, that is stunning. <laughs> Just absolutely gorgeous. I think it might be Kralik or possibly Lotz. Let's. I'm not 100% not sure um, which it is. But I was like, 15 bucks, I think I'll take it. Um, so this is just wowzers. So we're going to have to find a spot for this on the shelf. 
Maybe we'll put it down here. Scoochy, scoochy. There we go. For a little while. And then maybe, maybe it'll end up in the sale. But I will enjoy it for a little while because it is really pretty. Okay, well, let's see what Shelby has put on the shelves for us. I love this thing. It keeps uh, drawing my eye, so I feel like we should list this sushi cup. Because that is awesome. <laughs> Obviously, that will be a black box item. My scratchy, scratchy black box. I still have one turn in this box. I could turn it. Um, actually, you know what? I might have two or three turns. I haven't turned it yet, so I could probably turn it once and then another time and another. But I'm not going to. I'm going to get all, all the use out of it as I can. Ooh. Should we list the Alfredo Barbini Swan? That was kind of exciting, wasn't it? That was an exciting. I was like, hey, I know that one. <laughs> um, decisions, decisions. I don't know. This might be one that we photograph and then decide after the fact. It has this clear glass, and the clear might photograph better on the black. We just sold one like this um, last week. So I'm going to reserve this one for whatnot. This one is... Um, Oh, is that a boo-boo? I didn't know that had a boo-boo on it when I bought it. It does look like a boo-boo, though. Maybe that's actually... It could just be a boo-boo in the glass. Anyway, um, this one right here is Bohemian. It is not Murano. And, uh, it's kind of the color. I was like, mm, I don't know, that pink kind of leads me to think it might be Bohemian. And it was. I did a, a search on it and discovered that this is, in fact, Bohemian, and it is not Marana. That is Pilgrim. Some really pretty crackle glass. What about this bonbon dish? Put the bonbon dish in the white. Simon Falls shaker. There's a little schmutz on there I need to clean off before I list it, though. This brum. That was a good find at Goodwill. I was kind of impressed with myself on that one. Totally unexpected. Um, yeah, that's actually... Yeah, let's do that one. Let's step that guy over here. I think that would look nice in the black box. That's just the reflection. I'm like, is there something wrong? No, that's the reflection of his eyeball. A lot of you were asking about the boxes that we use. And I do have them linked in our description. Um, I have an Amazon, I don't know what you would call it. They call it a storefront, but it basically it links to all of the stuff that we use, um, including the light boxes. And there's various sizes, but the sizes we have are the biggest. And they're either 32 or 36 inches. And I had two set up simultaneously. They're the same thing. But I like having one with black and one with white, and so I don't have to constantly be swapping out the backgrounds. Um, the backgrounds do give me a little bit of trouble. <laughs> As you can see here, I have this one taped in. And this one is constantly falling down. It is so annoying. I'll be in the middle of taking pictures and it'll fall down. So it is really annoying. It's like a double-sided Velcro and it doesn't stick. So this one is also taped. <laughs> but it, it works, it does the trick, so. That's what we do. We use two light boxes. I think we need to pick one of these head vases. I just realized that these two are the same. Whoa, I didn't know that. They are, aren't they? They're same these only different sizes. Huh. I did not know that when I bought them. And now looking at them on the shelf, I guess they're kind of different. She has a glove on and she doesn't. But they do look awfully similar. Um, I need to decide which one to list. I 
think I'm going to try one and we'll see how it does. And it's going to be one of the larger ones. Um, so let's set her up here for now. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. <laughs> um, let's go for this one. We'll see how she does. And if she does well, we will grab another one for next time. It's been a while since I did head faces. I think it was around Christmas time. I had two of the Christmas head faces and they did they did surprisingly well. Throw a little row pottery in there. Kind of have a blue theme happening. I think all my shelves have a blue thing happening. With the exception of the purse there and the pretty lady in the back. So I realized when I was checking out that this one was actually as is. Oh my goodness. <laughs> It was only nine dollars but I didn't notice it until I was checking out it was already wrapped it was already in the box and um, he was reading me the tag and he's like the green bowl you knew that was as is right and I was like no I didn't but it was only nine dollars it's not a big deal <laughs> holy smokes somebody was playing catch with that yikes I don't know what I'm going to do with this one, but that's okay. That's all right. I have made a lot of money over the years selling stuff that I have bought from Paul, so I don't feel bad about it at all. I'm going to, for now, what am I going to do with this? I'm going to just set it back. I'm going to put it back on my shelves. Then I'll think about it, and then maybe later I'll pick it up again and be like, oh, this, and I'm like, oh, yeah, that's broken, because that's what I do. I save things. I've selected the musical basket of dogs. <laughs> and over here, the cat. The cat. I believe this is for a tea light. I assume. I don't know if it would have had an underplate though. Anyway, it's sealed with a kiss. Um, so it would be SW whatever the abbreviation. <laughs> Like, I started and then I'm like, nope. Sealed with a kiss um, is who makes this. And you know what? It probably did have an underplate that was marked sealed with a kiss because these are usually marked and I don't see any marking on here at all. But I know um, from the design quality that that's what this is. It is sealed with a kiss. Um, so he's just an adorable. He kind of reminds me of the, the Cheshire cat from um, Alice in Wonderland crazy whiskers and everything he's got going on there. Uh, he does have a little bit of a chip there on his ear, but he's otherwise, he's otherwise in, in okay condition, I would say. Um, I also snatched the kangaroo off the shelf, this thing. I'm assuming, I mean, it's marked AR. I don't know if they actually knocked off artists on your ring, Kanata. It's just weird to me because it's a different texture. If you look over here, this is Artisania Rincarnata, and you can see the texture on this versus the texture on this. It's just different. And then, if you look at this, which is an even marked AR, but it has a similar shape. When I picked this up, I told you guys, I'm like, I'm not convinced. I think that... Because this is what I had in my head. I had that envisioned in my head. And I'm like, I don't know. So I'm not sure what's going on here. It's just kind of weird to me. But I think I'm going to list the kangaroo. I may as well list the bird as well. I'm not going to list it as AR. Because I don't believe it is. I think it's very close. But it's no cigar, so to speak. Okay. Um, this can go in this box. This is going over to the black box. We're building up a nice little collection of things for this auction. Our two pieces that were kind of lurking in the back. This one, I think we said was Peggy Car. Oh, yeah. Oh, there it is. Picked this one up in Florida at America's Antique Mall in Melbourne. Um, we will list the fused glass. I think I paid 10 bucks for that or something. Um, and this one, 
has the cheat sheet in the inside. <laughs> Jerry Becker. Um, and has very, very faint signature there. Jerry Becker under the 1986. So we will list that as well. How many items does that give us? Two, four, six, seven. Ten. 12, 14, 15, 16, 16 things. This art glass has been hanging around a while. More blue, I'm in a blue mood. Hmm, I never could figure out who made this. Oh, you know what? I think it's supposed to have a lid. It just occurred to me. There's a little shelf here and I think that it was supposed to have something that sat on top of it. It's kind of a bummer. I thought it was just a cute little dish. I guess I could sell it as a dish. With just a note in the listing that something went on top. I don't know if it was a lid or what it was, but yes. And this guy. This has some age to it, this dish. It's hand painted with figures on it. It's marked China, not made in China, it's marked China. So that one's got some age. I'm wearing my squeaky shoes today. I think we're good for now. I think I'm going to lead with those listings, um, get my boxes cleared out, and then I'm going to start with some buy it now. This poor vase has been hanging around forever, but I just sold a large swung glass vase out of my booth. Crazy. If it happened to be a viewer who bought the swung glass vase, thank you very much for buying my swung glass vase. I'm thinking maybe I'll stick this over in the booth because I've found that shipping deters people from buying these online. So we'll just take that right out of the box. Maybe I'll stick that over in my booth. Um, okay, I'm gonna snap photos and then we'll figure out what we're doing next. Yeah, you forgot about this guy. He sold the other one on a whatnot sale. So we might as well put that one on eBay. We're just looking down here to see what I have on the second row of this cart. Those down there have been hanging around for a very long time. And the reason for that is because photographing them has proved to be a nightmare. And so instead they just ride back and forth on the cart. And yes, I do have a lot of money into them. And yes, they are amazing, but also photographs just don't do them justice. Maybe they're a whatnot thing, because then I can actually show them off. I don't know. I'm going to have to decide their fate. But there's an ice bucket, there's glasses, and there's bowls hiding under there. And they are awesome. All right, I've got all this photographed so far, and I was photographing this when I realized that Hey, wait a second. <laughs> this is flash colored. The flash is wearing off. So, um, this is actually going to go into, is that like, what is happening here? Cause this is also kind of sharp on the bottom. So now I'm like, did this have a pedestal? I don't know what's going on here. This is going down here. This is all of my miniatures for my whatnot sales and also giveaways. So I think that is going to be a giveaway. Um, possibly in my next whatnot sale. That is also a giveaway. So this is broken. And I'm thinking to myself, did I do that? Did I break it? Was that broken when I bought it? What is happening? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I feel like that wasn't broken when I bought it. I just went to go take pictures of it and it's broken. And I'm thinking, is it around here somewhere? Did it just break off? I don't see it anywhere. Oh my goodness. I feel like I've honestly lost my mind. All right, I'm just gonna set this one aside for now. Set this one aside. It's $5, we're gonna set it aside. We have 20 items on the cart. I feel like that's pretty good. Um, 20 items on the cart. I might come back in a few days and snag a few more, but I feel like that's pretty a pretty good start um, to get me by this weekend as far as listings go. So 
Uh, what to do now? I mean, we're here. We might as well jump into something else. I think I'm going to grab some stuff for Buy It Nows. I started Buy It Nows the other day. Oh, these are not Buy It Now. Those are actually going. Those are at auction currently by the time you're seeing this video. They're done. Same with this. I have to move those over to the eBay shelf so the guys aren't searching for those. Well, I think I'm going to um, end the eBay portion of this video right here. I may come back in a few days and grab some more stuff for the eBay auction, but I'm now going to shift into what not mode. And um, I think that calls for starting a fresh video. So you guys can expect that probably in the next few days. I'm going to be um, selecting some stuff here from the shop for our upcoming what not auction, um, which is scheduled for March 26th, which is a Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern. And I'm um, excited for it. I'm ready for it. We're going to have coffee available for this sale. At least we're supposed to have coffee available. We have, it has not come in the mail yet, but we are supposed to have coffee available for this sale. Um, as a reminder, if you have not signed up to become a buyer on WhatNot yet, there is a hack that you, that you could take advantage of. And that is if you sign up to become a buyer on WhatNot, WhatNot gives you a credit of $50 to spend on WhatNot. And our coffee is $12. So, um, if you sign up, um, you get that $15 credit, you can purchase our coffee, and essentially the coffee is free. I think you may still have to pay a little bit in shipping, but the coffee is essentially free, so cool hack for all of you. Um, if you do sign up to become a buyer, you have to spend that um, $15 within seven days. I think that is that is the caveat. Um, but I have a link for that down in my description, so you can click on that and get your $15 if you have not yet signed up to become a buyer. Um, and really that's, that's about it. Um, I'm going to end the video here. Um, I will say that the links down in my description are affiliate links. So if you click on them, Whatnot does give me a small commission and that goes to supporting this channel. So I appreciate your support and, uh, I guess I will see all of you guys tomorrow. So long. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you.